Mr. Yang, it is true that in the last few years we have seen the most severe anti-immigrant measures from putting kids in cages to limiting asylum for people fleeing gangs and domestic violence. But it is also true that about one million immigrants enter the U.S. legally every year. So are you willing to raise the number of legal immigrants from one million to two million per year? And should there be a merit system as President Trump wants? So, yeah. Oh, I'm my, sorry. Did you ask me? Or? Mr. Yang. I already said it. Okay. <laughs> sorry. My, my father grew up on a peanut farm in Asia with no floor, and now his son is running for president. That is the immigration story that we have to be able to share with the American people. If you look at our history, almost half of Fortune 500 companies were founded by their immigrants or children of immigrants, and rates of business formation are much higher in immigrant communities. We have to say to the American people, immigrants are positive for our economic and social dynamism. And I would return the level of legal immigration to the, to the point it was under the Obama-Biden administration. I think we have to compete for talent. And I am the opposite of Donald Trump in many ways. He says, build a wall. I'm going to say to immigrants, come to America, because if you come here, your son or daughter can run for president. The water is great. And this is where you want to build a company, build a family, and build a life. This country has been a magnet for human capital for generations. If we lose that, we lose something integral to our continued success. And that is where I would lead as president. Alcalde Pitt, tengo una pregunta para usted. Let's get this bread. Freedom dividend. Are all y'all paying attention? Automation gonna sweep the nation. Unless we get him in. Andrew Yang, 2020 Freedom Dividend. Climate change is real again. Science rules. Teachers bring your home some bread. Medicare for every citizen. That's nice. Andrew Yang, 2020 Freedom Dividend.